Welcome to Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I am Deb here with your Top Soil Tuesday. So this includes all earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. If you are interested in any timestamps, bookings, or any other social media links, please check out the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. What is the Shamanic Medicine Oracle card for this Top Soil Tuesday? Medicine Will Continuation. So intuitive, what I'm getting intuitively is that you guys might need to sit in the middle of a wheel with crystals, or you might need to go out and sit amongst like a fire pit or something. I'm feeling like it's, it's like some type of meditation that's required right now. What goes around comes around. A situation will not resolve until you act to change the outcome. A past issue needs to be readdressed. A wild goose chase. As you learn from experience, a new situation presents itself. Okay. So some situation isn't going to be resolved until you change it. So you're going to have to address some type of past situation that's going on. Okay. Also, I'm seeing this right here, and this indicates some grounding. So again, you probably need to go to some type of sacred site and ground yourself so you know how to handle the situation. What is the news for this Topsoil Tuesday? priestess why are these cards weird okay so the high priestess card is showing up right here earth signs so i feel like intuitively you know what it is that you need to readdress there's something that's been going on maybe for a while now that if you've been kind of just letting it continue and it needs to you know it needs to come to an end. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. Yeah. Justice. Balance. Balance needs to occur in this situation. Libra energy here. But also, I feel like whatever was unbalanced is going to be justified. You might be going through a court case. Especially if this is something that's been prolonged or been going on for a while now. I'm feeling like um, dirt is going to be pulled up. Like somebody is going to... Uh, something that they thought they were getting away with. Yep, the sun. Something about to be exposed, y'all. Somebody's dirty work. Something that they did behind the scenes. Yep, the moon. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah, magician. They were doing something behind the scenes. Yeah, seven of swords. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right. So earth signs, we started off with this ten of swords. So whatever it was that was done to you was very painful. You really had to suffer and you really went through a lot of things. I'm feeling like you were in this distress situation. You were bleeding out and no one cared. Someone left you for dead or a group of people possibly left you for dead. But I feel like you you have got your wits about you and now you're moving forward with the chariot car here. So it's almost like... You have decided that your principles and morals are above. It's like you went above, like you kind of. And I feel like that's what you have been doing. But it's like now it's time for you to get your just due for whatever was unjustly done to you. OK, with this King of Swords right here, you might be hiring a lawyer or someone to defend your case at this time. 
but I feel like whoever this is, is going to be a very powerful um, legal representative because they're going to see what's happening. It's going to be exposed with the sun card right here. Whatever secrets, whatever illusion had been casted on this situation, possibly that people were doing stuff to you and made you feel bad for defending yourself or for standing up for yourself. But the whole time they were manipulating things with the magician card being right here. Something very sneaky with the seven of swords. So I feel like this is due. This has been due for you. And I feel like because of what's going on in the the universe right now, this is the ideal time for you to get your just due. What's the veil of a set? What can we uncover here with the veil of a set? Yeah, Kanum is here also. So you're highly protected. I feel like the universe is, you know, kind of nurturing you back to health in a way. That's the energy that I'm getting. Mm. There's some there's some type of investigation that's going on, or you might be hiring a private investigator to watch whoever this person is, or it could be that you, this is you, you're able to afford and pay for a private investigator. Maybe somebody didn't know that or they at one time tried to sabotage you so it made it hard for you to do such. But I feel like the universe is making it so that you can get it done. Because whoever this is, they thought it was a water, water under a, bri a bridge or something like that. They thought they just permanently got away with some foul stuff. Basset. Okay. She's the comforter. So what I'm feeling is the universe in a way, like I said, they're like, they're nurturing you and coddling you. You probably possibly have random times when you just want to dance and you get joy. You feel very fulfilled and protected. You might be seeing a lot of cats or you might have cats around you. You might own cats, but maybe you've been seeing a lot of black cats as well. But some something is giving you some type of comfort in this time of trouble. Okay. What's this Ten of Swords? Ooh, yeah. We got repeating cards coming out, y'all. Scribe of Scarabs. Like I said, they wanted to keep you in this energy of always having to receive some type of offer or being on a beggar's list. Because sometimes when I see the Scribe of Scarabs, like... That's someone who works for someone. Maybe you are um, in an office and you do like a, some type of, sec I'm hearing secretarial work or you do something and it's like, you've been having a hard time getting things accomplished for yourself. Like maybe it's been hard for you to pay bills and stuff like that, but you've been diligent in what it is that you do for work. And it was cause look at it, <laughs> told you. Earth signs, they wanted to see your demise. They didn't want to see you in this King of Scarabs energy. I showed y'all the King of Scarabs before I even started pulling the cards out. But this is time it's in a reverse. So this is what they wanted. They wanted a demise for you. They did not want to see you successful and sitting on your throne. But I feel like you are, regardless of what it is that they tried to do. It's because you stand in your integrity. I showed y'all the chariot. You stand in your integrity. Uh-oh, I didn't drop the one of the cards. I gotta get it out. But you stand in your integrity with the chariot card and you push forward. You don't let things put you in this energy of being at a like a low morale is the energy that I'm getting here. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so earth signs, the 10 of unks was underneath the table and I struggled to get this card picked up. So this is symbolic for something. You possibly had, or you're going to have to take someone in your family to court. It's gonna be a struggle because what I feel is that you don't want to do it, but you need to. Because whoever this is, they need to receive some type of, um, some type of, uh, 
it's almost like this is the energy that I'm getting, y'all. Whoever this is that's been doing this, they've been doing it for a long time. Because the Ten of Unks can, like I said, since you were a child, this has been going on. They've been taking your energy from you. And it's not been balanced. It's not been fair. The Justice card. Exactly. Justice card again. I'm it. Okay. She devours the heart of those who have a heavy heart. And this person has a heavy heart. So what's due to them is for their heart to be devoured. They're going to have to come back and redo whatever it is that they have done in the past life. Is what, what I'm feeling is this person probably did this in a past life to you as well. This is very crooked. The two of swords. You know, this is done behind your back without you seeing. Or at least they didn't expect you or they thought you didn't see probably you did but you didn't address it at the time that's why it says it's con it's like it's you you're coming back around now you've been going in this cycle over and over and over no longer waiting you don't need to keep on waiting for something to happen the three acceptors in reverse it's it's time for it to happen now you don't need to continue to keep on putting work in and you don't need to balance out a situation with these people because whatever they did it was out of malice i really feel like it was out of jealousy as well it was just coming from a place of like they didn't consider you at all that's the energy that i'm getting because they have been doing it for so long so they felt like they could continue to keep doing this and not get away and get away with it What's the chariot card? <laughs> the scribe is showing up again for some reason. What's underneath here? Yeah, see. Somebody, this is the thing. I feel like they tried to somehow siphon your energy to come up. And now they're going through a tower moment. So things are destructing in their life. Yeah, behind the scenes with kind of Sue right here. You don't even know how much is going on. See, whoever this is, and it could be a group of people, the, <laughs> the universe is on them with this howl of two truths. This is also the judgment card. Like I said, this is a legal case that's happening. There's legal action being taken. Somebody might go to jail, man. This person might go to prison. Because I feel like what's going to happen is you're going to start this. Uh, it's like you're going to start this investigation and they're going to start to pull all this dirt that this person has been doing. Not only to you, but to others. What's this King of Swords? <laughs> King of Swords with the King of Swords. What did I tell you? I have nothing else to say behind the scenes. What's happening is there's legal action being taken towards this person. Temper's right here. My aunt. That's what I'm saying. It has to be harmonized. Something has to be justified. You see this man right here on his knees and my aunt is holding the scales. That's why I feel that this person is going to feel or these people are going to feel like they need to beg for forgiveness. But the thing is, they were not sorry when they did it. They're only going to be sorry, sorry when they had to pay the judicial, con you know, consequences for what it is that they did. What's the sun card? Ten of scepters. What I feel is that whew, there's going to be a hardship placed on this person. I feel like the sun has been looking at them because y'all know right here in this car right here, you see the sun and you see I-10 is like spreading out here. So I feel like the sun has been watching this person doing this to you. And now they're going to be in this. It's almost like the rest of their life, they're going to be struggling. That's the energy that I'm getting. See the scribe of swords and came out here in reverse. That's not good. That's not good energy. What I'm feeling is, it's almost like they don't need to see anything else. Whoever this is that's going to judge this, whatever judge is going to be seeing, looking over this court case, it's almost like they're going to already know that this person is foul and that it's time for them to go down. So they ain't not going to need any more 
they're not going to need any any more um witnesses or they're not going to need any more proof because it's going to be so much it's, it's almost like <laughs> they're going to throw the book at this person because the ten of scepters right here is like you're getting it all you're getting everything they might even get 10 years in prison okay but look at this the six of swords and the two of scepters so you and yours you and your family are going to be able to escape away from this and choose what where you want to go because it's like the universe is going to open up to you now so you're going to be able to see a bigger it's almost like whoever this was or this group of people they kept you in a bounded position you didn't feel like you could get a get anywhere in life they probably tried to like mess up your credit or mess up you know blackball you make it so people don't want to hire you or if you did get hired you only worked for minimum wage stuff like that try to keep you minimized and low while they torment you <laughs> but the universe was watching the whole time the moon card what's the moon yeah see <laughs> pharaoh the emperor amun ra all these cards came out. It, it, it's been so much going on, y'all. It's been so much going on for such a long time. Look. Planning, working with people, being, being strategic behind the scenes. Cowardly. Okay. The king of scepters in reverse. It was very cowardly. They had no morals. They lie, they cheat, they do whatever it is that they want to do to try to get away with doing the stuff that they were doing. And then Bess, Bessette, she's in reverse. So there is no comfort for them. I feel like somebody about to live, live hell on earth. That's what I'm feeling. Look, Kanam is right here as well. So just nurture yourself continue to keep on loving on yourself because your waters are continuing to go but this plan is about to backfire setting you up and trying to entrap you cause your demise things of that nature you're going to receive your wish the death card is right here too okay so it's almost like Somebody really thought that they were going to be able to take you out of here. They really, truly thought that. I feel like with this warrior acceptors right here, your will to live is too strong. You still persevere. You still go forward. Despite all that has been put against you, you still strive. You see this? Eight acceptors. You're going to receive some good news coming in to you. And it's going to allow you to feel more free. Feel like somebody outside of you is seeing this and they're really going to be wanting to protect you because you've already been going through a lot. You're the wounded soldier in a way, you know, having to carry a lot of things on your own. But now it's time for it to transmute so that you can have celebration to be able to be recognized for all of the pain and suffering that you had to endure. It's almost like who I'm talking to, you were like the Christ consciousness. You were the Christ. You were you were put on the, it was like you were crucified and you were innocent. You never did anything to these people, but they seen that in you and they hated it because you were the high priestess. Not only the high priestess, you are Aset, the magician. So these people, pretty much desecrated the temple in a way it's like they disrespected the most high in some of the highest order so you gotta think about that whoever this is they're gonna go through a lifetime of a lot of regret i feel like even in the next life if they do come back or their children are going to suffer as well but you're going to have happiness so i don't know if they blocked off um a love relationship or multiple love relationships or you always had problems in love but you're going to receive some type of stability in love and maybe even a marriage continue to keep your heart open okay continue to be mature about the love that you show to others 
somebody is being blocked and this person is not going to be able to get to your golden castle why because they use magic this whoever this is they tried to use some high form of magic that they don't have the legal right to use they even they try to use magic that is yours against you the magician I'm sick. Anyways, let's keep going. What's the magician? Shy and Renanook. This is the Will of Fortune, y'all. Fate, destiny. This is the thing about the Will of Fortune. If y'all look look at this, um, Shy and Renanook. Shy is the one that records things and basically they he lets you know what is going to happen to you for you know today tomorrow the future so it, things are being recorded he's writing things down right and Renna Newt she's the one that spins the wheel of fortune it can go in your favor or it cannot go in your favor and what I feel is that the, the will is in your favor y'all see we get in the will a lot right here but I also feel like someone is going to, the fate is not going in their favor. They're going to receive really, really bad karma, y'all. I just, I, I don't feel anything good for whoever these group of people are because they went against divine order. They literally did something to someone who was destined to do great works. And it's like they intentionally try to sabotage. Look, this is a nine of onks broken down. But I feel like as a child, you were very emotionally open and you possibly gave a lot because you loved. But it's like the universe wants you to just continue to keep on walking away because that's what's going to get you your wish. You were manipulated to walk away from things that you loved as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if you disconnected yourself from people that you loved just because you wanted to get away from all the chaos and the corruption that was going on around you. It could have been people that you still love to this day. The Seven of Swords. It was so much deceit and so much magic that was thrown on you. It just put you in this fog of what you just wanted to dis disconnect yourself from everyone and everything. That's what I'm getting. What's the Seven of Swords? temperance okay so with the Sagittarius energy my odds it's like just know that things are going to be harmonized in your favor um just continue to cleanse your waters purify your waters because I feel like your waters were tainted and even if you got to go in hermit mode for a while and separate yourself from people it's very it's very much needed for you at this time because of the trauma and the pain that you've endured since a child all the way up until now. Yeah, but the cycle is closing on it. Gab is here. So it's closing. You're you're not going to have to continue to keep dealing with this. Yeah, but see, this is what your adversaries are going to be experiencing. A lot of pain and a lot of sorrow. Their Their waters are not going to be at ease. They're going to be dealing with uh, troubled waters for a long time, y'all. Like I said, I feel like they cursed their children because they shouldn't have did something against a divine being. Whoever I'm talking to, you're a very divine being. You were put here on this earth to help others and someone crucified you and tried to deem you as something that you are not. So now they had to pay the ultimate price. So that's what I got for you, Earth Signs. I hope this helps someone. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell. Appreciate the energy exchange. Till next time, talk to you later. Deuces.